Imagine living in a high rise with more than 400 units, but only one working elevator. That is the nightmare hundreds of Northside seniors are facing. Some of them shared their fears and frustrations with CBS 2's My Martinez. She joins us live outside the Caroline Hedger Apartments in Rogers Park. My. Well, Brad and Erica, this is a Chicago Housing Authority building. Residents tell us there have been elevator problems for years. Last month, one of the three elevators broke, and then this past Friday, another broke, leaving only one working elevator for everyone in this building. I feel like a prisoner because sometimes we can't even go out unless you walk down the stairs. Mercedes Velasquez is one of the residents at Caroline Hedger's Apartments who is fed up with the elevators being out of service. She's most concerned about the older residents who live on higher floors. A lot of them can't walk up there, so I don't know what they plan on doing. What do you think would happen if there was an emergency? If they can't get down, they're going to die in here. That's a fear shared by Kim Campos Lucas, whose mother lives on the 23rd floor. My fear is I'm at work and there's a fire and my mother cannot walk down the stairs uh, even with assistance. She says those fears multiplied Friday when another elevator broke, leaving one elevator for everyone to use. She snapped these pictures of people waiting for that elevator in the lobby, she says for between 30 and 45 minutes. A review of city records shows the building failed inspections a number of times, most recently in October of 2018. And one of the most common citations is it failed to maintain elevator equipment provided at the premises in safe and sound working condition. Residents say it's taking a toll on everyone. Whenever you have to go anywhere, mm -hmm. you're concerned with whether the slowness of the elevator will interfere with your plans. It's a lot of fights. Everybody's trying to get on, trying to get up. I go to medical treatments every other day and I have to start out 45 minutes early to make sure I can get down to catch my ride. The CHA says technicians are working to restore service to all of the elevators as soon as possible, but didn't provide a timetable for how long that would take. Reporting live in Rogers Park, Mai Martinez, CBS2 News, Brad and Erica. All right, Mai, thank you. And